Hey friends, hope you guys are doing well out there. Get back to this here in a minute. Just had a message come in. Hi. Right. Ha ha. Hope y'all guys are doing well. It's been a pretty good day here. I just fear I get on, do a quick check-in video with y'all guys. Mm. So good. Been under a little bit of stress here recently. Nothing more than we can handle, right? So I've been laying off on my caffeine. Uh, that's one thing I always try and talk about is how lots of times when we're in a stressful situation or something where we already feel a little bit of anxiety, like a cup in the morning is good and everything, but if I have too much caffeine, then it just makes my anxiety so much more worse. Uh, is that phonetically correct? We'll go with it. Uh, eating is always important and getting enough sleep. For me, I can push through the sleep thing for a couple of days and everything, but if I take it too far, I'm not able to make good choices. And see, when we sleep enough, we get our cognitive functioning is at its peak, right? It allows us to like have, oh, and a snack during the morning, right? Because it all these things, they activate our problem solving. Uh, they make us feel confident. Whereas if we aren't getting all the things we need and we're over caffeinating, that can make us obsess about the difficulties and kind of spin on the problem rather than coming up with solutions. What I love, what I love are creative solutions. So like when something happens, we think to ourselves, you know, well, there's one, two, maybe three options to go with. And, and they're going to, they're going to like a shotgun, you know, just blast out a widespread of, uh, of dealing with the problem. Right. And, and those, those kind of fixes they're they're obvious basically. So what I like about creative problem solving is that there are these little b tiny solutions to something that aren't obvious and they can fix a problem even better. Now, lots of times those kind of solutions, because they're a little bit more complicated, sometimes they take a little bit more maneuvering and a little bit more positivity to be able to pull them off. But that's kind of what I'm into. So uh, today, like I said, was a really good day. We kind of all took it easy and tried to get some rest because the whole team here, Michael, Tom, Wes, myself, we have all been uh, kind of running constantly since I got here. And so it's felt really good to be able to catch up. I think I might have slept like 12 hours today and all. I think I got like five, then I got like four, and then I got a few after that. And uh, I feel pretty dang good. Now, there's still things that I'm dealing with, it's mainly other people things, right? And I really like being in other people's lives and being able to share with them my experiences in similar situations and what I've done about them to help other people have options, right? Mainly though, I just try and listen to people because when people actually feel heard, it helps them kind of like mellow out a little bit and be able to come up with those creative problem solving uh, issues, you know, uh, or, or the ability to creatively solve a problem, essentially. I see everybody in there. Y'all guys are all such lovely people and I'm so happy to have you in my life. Hey guys, it's so good to see you. Oh, and my camera's working uh, so I can see myself too. I can see the background set and all. I'm still trying to make good eye contact with you though. Uh, yep, there you are. Oh, thank you for all the hearts, guys, for all the waving, the hello. I see each and every one of y'all. Hey, Mandy Doyle, I was going to get back to you. Uh, I got two of your uh, your artistic designs on, on mugs here on YouTube. Very, very happy about it. Your artwork is so cool. I actually, I'm going to shoot you back an email and, and uh, I've got a couple ideas. I was wondering if you could help with designs on. Uh, and then I'm also still working on an actual like our store, right? Like a store for our community and everything where we can get the prices cut down a little bit. YouTube is a little bit uh, pricey on the merchandise and everything. And the reason for that, it's not a money scam. It's that to print or make one product and send it out out costs more than it does to make a product in bulk. Now, I will tell you that all YouTube merchandise is really high quality. Y'all guys know when it comes to like, like products, when I talk about something that I use or something, I'm not sponsored. I don't get anything for that. And I will just tell you the truth about how it is. So if you get a product here from my YouTube store, it will always be up to snuff. You're going to love it when you finally get it, you know? So uh, yeah, Mandy, just one more time. Thank you so much. I love all of the designs. We all do. And Peanut gave you two big thumbs up on that on the the peanut merch uh designs as 
So cool. Uh, let's see. We got uh, we got almost everybody in the house tonight, guys. Dang, y'all popped in really quick. I've missed you so much. I just want to go through. I'm not going to do the name readout. I just want to see all who all's here. I'm scrolling back up. Uh, yeah, y'all guys are awesome. Hi to everybody. Thank you so much for your support and for supporting each other. Yep, I see y'all guys. Of course, Chicken Master's in the house. Hoorah. <laughs> I, so, yeah, I guess I'll go through some of what's been some of the difficulties and stuff here recently. So I've, we've been doing this. Let's see. I guess my Instagram channel really started this community, but it was years before I realized how involved the community was together. It was uh, one day when I was already in the picker's cabin after I came down from the mountain that I had been invited to a group chat. And I went into the group chat and I saw that this chat had been going on for years with these friends who had met on my channel and had become friends and had become a community. And they talked about everything. I saw these little messages about whose kid was going to what school and where and, and who got their braces off and, and, and all of these, these beautiful communications and stuff. And that's kind of how this, this community came to be. And that's why I really appreciate being here. And it means so much to me. Here recently, so after we started doing this, basically Music Madness started our community here on the, our YouTube lives. We made a lot of new friends and stuff, you know, and and so the older community of people who had built themselves, they go, they like really watch out for me and they watch out for our community and everything and make sure there aren't any like covert haters or anything out there actively working against our community, kind of. Uh, and some of them are like like almost double agents, right? They'll get into these little, these little like hater pools and they'll make them think that they're like a hater too, right? And then they take screenshots and junk and then they send them out uh, back to me and then back to a nerd friend of mine who's kind of our cybersecurity person, right? And then they'll go in and take care of it. And that means like blocking the haters, right? Well, here recently, it was part of what broke my heart. So over the past few days, I have had a bit of a broken heart. And it takes a lot to affect me because others aren't supposed to have the power to affect us, right? To really hurt us inside. Uh, it's unavoidable sometimes, right? And so I found that a few people in the community were like actively invading other people's privacy. And, and it got pretty bad. It, it really did. It got to be almost an internet stalker thing. And where I expect that for myself, because I've been doing this a long time. And in doing this, I kind of agreed to certain invasions of privacy, you know, what uh, like upset me or broke my heart is that this was happening to other good people here in our community. And it came from people that I, I really did not expect it from. Uh, and so we've had to block quite a few people here recently and I actually miss them and it, it's hurt my feelings. That's why I want to get back in here uh, with y'all guys and start start actively, you know, being part of the community again and and building this wonderful thing that we do out here together. So I just figured that I would let y'all guys know about that because I know sometimes it's very mysterious what is going on and all. And and I know that we've still got this thing that I want to tell you about on the first. I have kind of, because I am in entertainment, right? I like to entertain y'all guys. And like P.T. Barnum and Bailey said, you know, always leave them way more. So I leave a little bit of a teaser out there. But uh, on the first, I've got some really cool news. The reason I'm waiting for the first is because I want to see how it goes. I'm I'm really tired of telling y'all guys one thing and then doing something else or telling you to expect something and then it's not there when the time comes. Like yesterday, I told you that I was going to do another video at night, right? And I wasn't able to do it. So I'm going to try and not do that anymore. My, my life is very hectic a lot of times. And if I don't know for sure that I can complete my promise, I'm not going to make one to y'all guys, you know, but uh, that's pretty much what's been going on. And like I said, it's kind of exciting what's going to be happening on the first. I, uh, yeah, well, I can hardly wait to tell you about it. 
Uh, what else is going on? Oh, we got a hold of Richard Wood. Uh, it was not through the call out, though the call out was really cool. And I'm sure that he probably got a smile out of it. Uh, what I hear is his internet was out. So he's a country guy, right? He lives way up in the boonies and everything. A guy after my own heart, right? And so his Wi-Fi was out. It's the reason we couldn't get a hold of him. Much like me, I only use Wi-Fi calling. I keep my phone activated when I can, but I hardly ever get a signal. You know, it's mainly just to keep it active. Uh, and so, yeah, we got a hold of Richard. We got the the problem addressed, it wasn't really a problem. There's a couple different parts and there were options as to how that's supposed to go back on his pickup truck. And we were not going to make the decision for him. So, so we, we got a hold of him. He let us know what was going on or what he wants done. And we'll get that done over the next couple of days is the plan. I can hardly wait to hear this thing run. And, and that's going to be our first job that we ever got here off of YouTube uh, here at the garage or what we call the shop. This is this is the shop, right? Uh, oh, really cool thing. We are diversifying out into another platform. Now, just for our security thing that I always talk about, we so far, this is our only channel. You'll find me here on uh, Matt, the Matt Brown channel on YouTube or Matt Brown 511 on Instagram, right? And anybody else is fake. There are a lot of fake people out there and they're always trying to run a scam. Again, big shout out to our, our little community out there of, of undercover spies who are always looking for those people and shutting them down as fast as possible. Guys, you do a bang up job and I'm so happy you're in my life, right? Uh, so I am looking at another platform uh, for sharing social media. It's a lot like YouTube here. Excuse me. It is hot in here. Uh, it's called Rumble, and it gives us a few other options for being able to post. I don't really want to talk about it here on YouTube because I feel that's disrespectful as a member of the YouTube partnership program, which I respect, honor, and cherish, and always try and, and uphold to their guidelines. You know, uh, it's called Rumble. We're going to be putting out other videos that are a little bit different than the ones that we put out here on YouTube. And once it's started up, maybe in the next couple of days, I'll let y'all guys know. I'll let you know how to get to it. The problem I'm having right now and the reason I need a couple of days is because just Matt Brown is taken. So I have to figure out another name for the channel. I think I think Matt Brown 511 would actually be confusing between Rumble and Instagram. I'm thinking maybe like Alaska Matt Brown or Matt Brown Adventure, uh, something along those lines. I'm kind of excited about it. And it does, it gives us the opportunity to expand. Here recently, uh, <clears throat> the revenue issue uh, here on YouTube has helped us address a lot of things and grow the company. However, like everything, the revenue uh, that we generate here, it needs to be respent here so that, that, you know, we can, we can grow the, the program, grow the community and everything. So we're pinching our pennies. We're counting our, our change, you know, and trying to make things work. It's been very successful so far though. And that is all because of y'all guys. It's because of your support, your encouragement for watching the videos, uh, for watching 30 seconds of at least one ad by y'all guys doing that. I've actually been able to cut down on some ads because it just gets jammed. I've been letting the algorithm choose where to put the ads because it was, I thought it was complicated and it was on my old computer. Now that I'm actually getting into it and I'm able to choose where the ad reels are myself and because y'all guys have gone in and shown your support by watching 30 seconds of an ad, it has really helped be able to cut down on them. As y'all guys know, we do not ask money from the individual. We do not want anything from y'all guys, but your support, we do not do super fans, super chat, uh, nothing that takes money from y'all guys, unless you want to buy some merchandise. And like I said, we're going to be cutting down on the price of that as soon as possible. I've got a friend out there. She has friends who uh, they do internet stores and everything. And I'm thinking if it works out, she might be interested in running the internet store for us, which is the cool part about being a team. You know, I've, I've been doing this so long all by myself that it's really nice to have people that, that have my back, have y'all's back and understand the mission basically, you know? So, oh, that's a nerd thing. I, uh, I'm sorry guys. And this is kind of just breaking the fourth wall with you because that's what we like to do is bring y'all guys in on the behind the scenes, still working on being able to get the nonprofit charitable 
business license so that we can accept donations for a nonprofit that will allow us once a year to help somebody out. We'll have a little fund where we can either send someone to like a, a rehab facility a facility where, where people deal with, with life problems, you know, maybe be able to help a little family out with housing crises or donate food or something. Like there's a friend of mine, uh, Groovy out here. I hope that they don't mind that I out them a little bit because I know that they're a superhero and superheroes don't do this stuff for the fame, right? But my friend Groovy goes out and they knit scarves and sweaters and stuff and hats for the homeless. And so I want to bring in a lot more of that kind of stuff. So if if y'all guys are involved in anything like that, that gives back to the community, back to society itself and stuff, I'd like to start making that kind of part of the stories. I'm not sure how yet, uh, but that's kind of something I've been thinking about. So it's probably going to be next month before we can get that charitable donation site uh, set up. It will not be a GoFundMe or something like that either. So you don't have to worry. It is going to be the most legit above board thing that anybody's ever seen, or it will not exist. Uh, all right, I want to jump in here real quick with y'all guys. Cat, uh, hey, how you doing, Kit Cat? It's good to see you, my friend. Thank you for all your help. I really appreciate it. Uh, oh, we have a birthday in the house, says Cat. Very cool. Uh, Karen Walsh, excellent. Very cool, Karen Walsh. We'll celebrate that in just a second, guys. Uh, Alan. My friend Alan is out there. You are always a huge inspiration to me, Alan. Thank you so much. Uh, hi, Matt and friends. Wishing all a safe and happy Easter. Hope you're doing well, Matt. Thank you, Alan. And right back at you, my friend. And yes, happy Easter to everybody across the pond. I think it will be Easter here tomorrow, right? I've My days have gotten so discombobulated here recently. I want to scroll back up. And then we're going to say happy birthday to Karen real quick. So many of y'all lovely people in here. Madman is in the house. Madman, it is so good to see you. Hoorah. I'm so glad you're back. For anybody that doesn't know, Madman is our Terminator of jokes. Uh, he comes in here and he tells thousands and thousands of jokes per session. They're all hilarious. Uh, some of them are not for the faint of heart. Uh, but this is a channel that we don't take things too seriously. So I enjoy them. Uh, and there are a lot of us in here that enjoy them a lot. Also, he kind of helps bring us all up. He is kind of a medicine here in our little community because we talk a lot about a lot of things. You know, we talk about a lot of very important life things. People share problems, issues, things that are impossible to fix and that we can only go through. And after we talk about that, it's really nice to be able to, to bring the feeling back up again. And that is something that Madman really helps us do. So Madman, I'm so glad that you're back. Thank you, bro. Hoorah. Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. Say hello to little dude for me. Hey, Dean. How you doing, bro? So good to see you. John McLeod. Hey, John. Good to see you. Uh, Joyce Lyons in the house. Matthew Register. Hey, bro. Hi, chat. How are you doing? I got called ugly today. Was trying to help this girl because her food bags ripped. She told me I'm too ugly to help. Man, it hurt. Well, you know what? Shame on her. That's all I can say. You're a good man, and let's not let that stop us from reaching out and helping people, my friend. Maybe she was just having a bad day or something, you know, but that's still no excuse to be rude. I think that being pleasant in this world is it's the only way that we can actually really help each other because lots of times there are hard problems and we're all going through something, but a smile and a thank you goes a long way, you know? And so I get a kick out just when I'm walking in the store and somebody holds the door for me, you know, or, or the gas station attendant smiles and literally asks, you know, how you doing today, Matt? You know, so good job for you for being a good guy, Matthew. Uh, Reverend, I uh, Matt Tuesday was B day, brother. I sh would love you to watch tapped live brother okay oh taped live okay i'll try and drop into your uh into your uh your channel reverend hang on let, all right now we got 
two birthdays. I'm going to have to write both your guys down. So we got Karen and Reverend. Very cool. Very cool. The chicken master out there. I see you, chicken. I see you. Matt, when is music madness? Soon, I hope. Uh, honestly, I'm still on a pretty bad schedule, you know, but I do. I talk to people kind of who are in crisis. I get like thousands of messages and stuff. And what I do, a lot of people are across the seas and everything. And uh, I haven't had a lot of time lately, especially with everything being so up in the air. You'll understand more soon. I'm hoping that we can do a music madness after the first, maybe like the second or the third would be cool. Or I'm just going to pop on here and just go with it one of these nights. You know, I had thought about doing it tonight, but I'm just now starting to get my energy back and I didn't want to just, you know, dump it all out there on y'all guys uh, just now, you know, so music madness, where is it? Music madness back soon. And we're going to do it like a samurai. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know, guys. What <laughs> Like the song says, what do you want for nothing? <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. So. Uh, I see Samantha in, out there. Hey, Samantha. She's saying hey to Kat. Uh, Jara, what up, Jara? Happy Easter weekend, everyone, says Jara. Rizreal, Rizreal, uh, 100, cool name. Uh, can you say happy birthday to Karen Walsh? Yes, we got Karen Walsh and Reverend's happy birthday coming out here in just a moment. Uh, it would mean a lot to her. Absolutely. That's what we do here. In fact, the birthday celebrations are my favorite here, honestly. I mean, I love it when we all, we share our lives and stuff and everything. The birthdays seem to add something like really, really cool here. So I don't have my little woo -woo and shaky thing right here. On, wait, wait, did I put it? Hang on. It might. Yes, I'm, I'm drinking chocolate milk and coffee. Still not sponsored. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I didn't get to tell you about that. Uh, Michael, who is kind of our PR guy, he reaches out and tries to find sponsorships and stuff. He's also like our internet investigator, dude. Uh, goodness, the rain just hit. I better run out and make sure my pickup truck windows are rolled up. Guys, I'm so sorry. Please bear with me for a second. Can you hear that? Wow. Some big drops, too. Man, I don't know what I was talking about. What was that? Oh, yeah, it's sponsorship. Uh, we got in the mail response for a sponsorship for Dr. Pepper. It's a uh, little form to fill out and everything. I should let Michael fill you in on it. It was very cool. So, I, yep, I don't have my little whoop whoop thing. I don't really have anything to make one out of. So we're just going to do happy birthday anyway, guys. So let's see. Uh, Matt Brown. Yo, just don't worry about that. Right now is damn madness. <laughs> A lot of people running after damn balls. Sorry, bunny eggs. Ah, very good, madman. Very good. Hoorah, bro. Hoorah. All right, guys. <sighs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Karen and Reverend. Happy birthdays to you. And many more. Yay. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday to Karen and to Reverend. Hopefully it is a wonderful, wonderful year coming up uh, filled with 
all kinds of goodness, happiness, joy, family, friends, love, all the things that us human beings need, understanding, you know, hopefully it's a celebration of a close of a wonderful year, a year that certainly had some kind of adversity that had to be overcome or accepted or 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 dealt with, you know, hopefully that we have support in our lives and, and the things that we need and that inner peace that, that comes with certainty and comes with experience that we can only rack up one birthday cake at a time. I just want to thank you for being part of this community and say congratulations Congratulations on our beautiful year here on this earth. We are glad you're here with us. Yay! 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 Hoorah, guys. Uh, that's what we do here. I see Nova in the house. Hey, Nova. So good to see you, my friend. Pink Banjo, Lori, uh, Madman's talking to Alan, Reverend. Ma how do you say that? Maku? Is that Mik Miku? Uh, says, hi, Matt, and welcome to the club, my friend. Uh, hi, Matt. Oh, hang on. I got to stop this. Uh, just want to let you know, I really find encouragement from the shorts you've been filming. Thanks uh, for making those. Hey, thank you, my friend. I It's one of my favorite things to do. At first, I didn't like the way that they're so short, but then I think that it, it cuts out a lot of the chatter, really, and it just gets to the basics. I don't talk about, like, you know, a lot of BS and stuff. I really talk about things that I've gone through or other things that inspire me, you know. So your positive feedback really helps right now. It helps me feel good, and it helps me continue on through the struggle of life, you know. Thank you, Maku. I know I'm probably butchering your name, my friend. I apologize for that, too. Uh See Shirley Kung, uh, you'll be an excellent grandma, Lori. Oh, is Lori being a gonna be a grandma? Oh, but she will be. Good job, Lori. Hoorah! So happy for you, Mackenzie Scott. Oh wait, hang on, Madman. Is this a joke? Uh, love res. Oh, okay, cool. Love, respect, and honor one another, people, because no one knows when the end will come. I don't like to preach, but I feel like I have to say this. Sorry, guys. Please, madman, never, never apologize for, uh, for you know, hitting us with some wisdom out there because uh, your words are completely and totally true. You know, life moves fast. It does. And uh, it's a wonderful adventure. It's a heck of a ride. You know, I used to be all kinds of upset over the negativity and the struggle and the drama and the loss, right? And then, Somehow in my recovery, I've been able to step back and now I kind of view life as a as a story, right? And like if I'm watching a movie or reading a storybook or something, it's those adversities, those problems, those sad little, little romanticized things that happen to us that make us stronger and make the story a little bit more full, you know? So like I'm always grateful for the adversity in life, but I always also try and just relish and enjoy the positive of it. I feel that's where the, you know, the actual meat of it is, you know, or veggies if you're not into meat, right? More T-bone steak for me. I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, there you are, Mackenzie. Matt, do you go on? Oh, do you go to Canada? Well, I <laughs> say. That's a complicated explanation there, my friend. Uh, I would. However, unfortunately, I have records of my past, a DWI, uh, and they won't let me in. Now, I could pay a bond. I think it's like $500, and they'll let me across. But you know what? I've been staring at Canada my whole life. So, uh, yeah, I would. If I could afford it, there's a lot of stuff that would be really cool to see up there. And I have a lot of really cool friends that live up there that I'd like to go visit. But maybe later on in life, I'll be able to, you know, it's just something that I have to accept, uh, you know, because that was me. I did that. And uh, and now though, that is the consequence uh, of those poor choices I made earlier on in life. However, again, from those poor choices, I like to think that I've I've grown to be a little bit stronger to make better choices now. Just recently, I celebrated my four-year anniversary on uh, on the 20th of this very month here, and uh, it was kind of cool because part of that celebration was going up to my cabin, right? It's everybody's cabin. 
I call it my cabin because it's somewhere I go a lot. And uh, somebody had left some booze up there, right? Now, a lot of people know who I am and know that I'm in recovery and everything. And I kind of like, I kind of took it as a little bit personal, right? And yeah, my, my, my addict in there at first jumped up and it was like, my thought was that I couldn't stop myself kind of, right? It looked like watching a train wreck kind of. And then I realized to myself though, that I, you know, I don't have to do that stuff. And so I poured those bottles out and it felt really good. I think that's, that's what happens when we start learning, not only from our past, but I, how we are and who we are in the present and how we want to be in the future, you know? Arrow fans in the house. Hey, Arrow. Duke, Duke, what is that? Duke Booty. <laughs> cool name. Hey, buddy. Uh, Michael Mack, a.k.a. Duke Booty. Hey, Michael Mack. Good to see you, bro. Welcome to the club. Uh, Starlight. Star Bright. First star I saw tonight. Hey, Star. Uh, she says, I'd pay your bond, Mr. Brown. <laughs> Brown. That's okay. That's all right. I appreciate it, Star. But, you know, I like to pay my way. You know, I get there one of these days. I get there. What I really want to do is jump the pond one of these days. It's cost so much money, though. It's just, oh, and I'm worried about my road trip, to tell you the truth now, because, like, we've expanded so much, and it's it might be more difficult. But, I mean, I will make it work. I'm that guy. I don't give up, and I don't surrender. Right, guys? Can you hear that rain? It's about, like, 12 hours late. It was supposed to be during this earlier this morning. Well, that coffee's gotten cold, but it's still good. It's so strong. If you stuck a spoon in there, it'd jump up and run away, I tell you. Yep. The only person I know, actually, that drinks coffee as strong or maybe, I will admit it, maybe sometimes stronger than I even drink it is my buddy Michael. I mean, I swear sometimes I hear his uh, his coffee cup scream, oh, dear God, no. <laughs> uh, Lori, what's up, Lori? Lori says, we all screw up in our lives. Congrats, Matt. You're doing awesome. Hoorah, Lori. I couldn't have said that better. And thank you, my friend. I, lo I love that, too. It's short and sweet, right? You should be doing shorts out here on YouTube, my friend. Right on. Uh, Lily Hudson. Hey, Lily. Long time, my friend. Uh, where's Matt gone? Oh, that's so sweet. I'm back now. I'm back. Just had... We all have personal things sometimes and uh, life can get challenging and we have to have to slow down. You know, I feel that life can make all of us. I know I've felt this way in the past, you know, especially working like normal jobs, trying to pay rent, living in the city. It can make it feel really, really fast and really, really hard to deal with. And like all the answers have to come really quick and be really simple. And uh, that's not the way it is. All of us, we can step back. I mean, some things have to be addressed immediately, right? But most of the rest of the things just seem that way is how it feels to me. But we all need our time to be able to step back, regroup, focus, and then jump back in, you know? So I'm glad you've missed me. I'm glad all y'all guys have missed me. It makes me feel really good, you know? But Matt is back, and we are going to hit this thing hard and heavy like always, friends. Uh, Amber. Hey, Amber. Good to see you. Uh, you have to make mistakes to learn sometimes right on. I think it's really the only way to learn. You know, I saw a cool thing on my Instagram a few minutes ago, actually, this guy, he was building a, uh, a stairway, right? As, and it said, each stair said, fail, 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 right? Until there's a platform on the very top and it said success. And I think that that's how it is. You know, we, like you said, we learn from our mistakes, Nutty Squirrel. Hey, Nuts. Uh, congrats on your anniversary, Matt. Well, thank you, Nutty. Thank you very much. Yeah, it feels good. At some point, though, it is a special day. It kind of becomes just another Tuesday, you know? So, like, I like to, to acknowledge it and think about it. And, you know, it feels good to make that milestone. At the same time, one thing that's really helped me in my sobriety, because relapse was part of my story, you know? It, and it is part of recovery. It doesn't have to be. Lots of times, though, it is. And it was for me. And uh, so it's just, for me... It's not about counting my days. It's about making my days count, you know? And so I feel that every day for me is a celebration of recovery. Uh, 
honestly. And it's not all just abstinence-based recovery, not drinking and not drugging. I mean, I think that life gives all of us our own personal scars. We all have our own ways that we we act that, you know, later once those emotions aren't driving us, we might regret, you know, and, and by experiencing those and desiring to change some of those things for us uh, and to have better interactions, that's recovery too, you know? That's why I share so much with y'all guys. When I was in Betty Ford learning all of these tools, I sat there and thought to myself, I'm like, man, they should really teach this stuff in high school, you know, or elementary school that everybody should know like these kind of tools and stuff, you know? And that's why I like to get out here and share them with y'all guys, which is also what's neat about doing the shorts because that's pretty much what I do is I just, I share the tools, you know? In recovery, we also say in order to keep it, we have to give it away. So... Hoorah, guys. It's what y'all do for me. I got to tell you. Yeah, I've got so much wisdom and so much hope uh, from y'all guys continuously through all of this. Uh, John says, uh, wow, you jumped way down. I know, John. Yes, as I'm talking, the, the comments keep coming in and then it is so hard to keep up. I am trying to scroll back up and... Just make sure that there isn't somebody really trying to get a hold of me. Uh, it's like, oh, what is their name? Anonymity. Anonymity. If you are out here and you're sharing with us and talking and I haven't seen you or something, I apologize for that. However, I think that you are one of the bravest people that I've ever met. And I really appreciate you being so brave here and growing and trusting this beautiful community out here. So if you're watching this Thank you for everything you do, and thank you for being so inspiring. Tamara's in the house. Hey, Tam. No rain here in Michigan. It was a beautiful day with a beautiful sunset. I'm so glad. That's wonderful. We had a beautiful day here, too. Sunrise was awesome. It had all those colors of, like, the purple. I don't really see the purple very much. But this morning, it was like, it had the red, but then around the edges, it had that beautiful purple color that we just don't see very often. Lainey's in the house. Lainey's talking to Janie. Hey, Janie. I see Samantha. Missy. Hey, Missy. SCW. What's up, SCW? Matt Olshev. Hey, Matt. Uh, speaking of hitting uh, that like button. Ah, way to be out there. Hoorah, Matt. Appreciate you. As a matter of fact, you remind me to do the run around real quick. Uh, oh, my goodness. It's always, I know I say it every time, but I don't know how the heck 36 minutes have passed. Uh, so, yeah, we have been broadcasting for 36 minutes. There are 141 of us here in the shop. Uh, the video has been liked an amazing 113 times, which for 37 minutes might be a record for us, guys. That is really good. Thank you so much. Not only for me, for the rest of the community. You know, it's how we grow and we get spread further on the, the cyberspace of YouTube. Uh, the time right now, is 8 34 p.m. Now that is specifically Pacific time. The date is 328, year of our Lord 2024. The temperature outside is 47 degrees Fahrenheit. And as I'm telling you that, my brain is like, how are you gonna convert that, Matt? Because you don't know, bro. Uh, so what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna ask Google real quick. Because I, I don't want to just constantly be like, well, in Celsius, it's warm outside right now. I think you would really enjoy it. Uh, so hang on, we're going to do this real quick. Also, thanks for being patient with me, guys. I know that I, sometimes I babble. I never come back around to the point. Uh, I forget what the heck I'm talking about. And I do little silly things like stopping in the middle to check my phone. So hang on. What is 47 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 47 degrees Fahrenheit is 8.333 degrees Celsius. It is 8.333 degrees Celsius outside, guys, which is warm. However, it's raining, so you might want a coat. <laughs> That's it. I know, right? Uh, all right, guys. Uh, run through here. Make sure there aren't any burning desires. Uh, 
And now I'm going to have to sign out because a, a buddy of mine is letting me stay at his place now. He's got this kind of like rundown old building, which is perfect for my road wanderer thing. I'm trying to get it cleaned up and everything. For security's sake, I'm not, I can't really talk about where it is and everything. Uh, but it's a nice little spot. It's got four walls. It's safe. Uh, I don't have to worry about coyotes or or marauders or anything. So I want once I sign out here, I'm gonna uh, edit on a quick recovery video that I'm doing. It's just what was the subject? Oh, it's a uh, uh, positive obligation versus negative obligation. It's like a four minute recovery video. I haven't done one one in a while. So while the sun was shining today, I went out and shot it. So I'm gonna drop that, and then get down here to this uh, this little building, get it cleaned up so I can crash there tonight. Now I will film it and all. It's part of the story. But I just, like I said, I want to check in with y'all and make sure that everybody is doing well. Susie Potts says, uh, hey, Matt, Michigan here. Nice to see you. Been a while. Thank you, Susie. And right back at you from the beautiful state of Washington. Orville, Washington, to be specific. Okay, I'm rolling back down now. Here we are on the bottom, guys. Oh, what's this? Just Chan. Hey, Chantel. Uh, 11.44 p.m. in New Jersey. We had two weeks of spring. Then it got cold. Uh, and we all got the flu so bad. Oh, I'm sorry, Chantel. That sucks. Oh, no. A lot of my friends are sick right now. It seems to be going around. And not just here in this community, I mean, like the town of Orville and surrounding areas. I mean, like worldwide, people seem to be getting sick. So it's it's definitely something going around. Tina M. Matt, did you do triple A? I am not a triple A member, though I, I do AA quite often. <laughs> That's, I'm playing with you there. No triple A, honestly. Uh, tri actually, triple A for me, I've got. I've got both Mike and Tom's, uh, Michael and Tom's phone numbers scratched into the metal underneath the hood of my truck. So that's my AAA number. If I need help, I call one of those guys and they come pull me out of it, right? Uh, now, AA, it's been busy. I actually uh, passed two times here. Uh, Michael, Tom, and I, we were working on a job and, uh, and didn't realize how late it had gotten. And so I haven't been able to go to AA, which really sucks. I really feel that I need it. I get a lot of positive energy and everything from it, you know, and it helps me connect not only with my personal sobriety, but also, you know, with the community as well, a community of like-minded people who build a better and happier future based after the kind of crappy past that we had built for ourselves then, you know, plus the coffee at my place coffee shop is amazing. If you ever go there, I would definitely recommend it. And like their espresso, it's better than Starbucks. I'm not knocking Starbucks. It's just a lot of coffee places that they've got a burned taste of their coffee. My place is awesome. And again, not sponsored, just the truth. Uh, let's see. This is so much fun. Aerofan says triple A batteries. LOL. <laughs> Honestly, that's weird you say that because I've got my dash lights right here, right? And I need some triple A batteries for these things. Next payday. So what I'm doing, this 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 sticks magnetically to the drive column or the uh, the steering column of my pickup truck, right? And so, but you, you just tap it and it comes on, but I don't have any batteries for it. So my my pickup truck light, the dash lights are dead. So I've got this other light here that I'm about to cannibalize here in a few minutes. Ah, uh, AAA batteries. I love it. Uh, to hope oh, this is good. All right, this is where we're going to sign out, guys. You're going to love this. Madman says, I got, call, I got a call from the police station saying they wanted to interview me funny i don't remember sending an application yeah that's good that's really good i'm gonna use that next time hopefully hopefully i'll never get a call from the police station saying they want to interview me but if they do actually you know it's best not to joke with them i'll just yeah show up that's i don't know guys all right. Thank you for being there. This has been so much fun as always. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep you posted about Music Madness. Hopefully second, third of next month, once we've got everything settled out, we will know. I've still got the request board here. 
I feel really bad because some of it is starting to get rubbed uh, rubbed off and everything. But we will do the best we can for our people out there because y'all do the best you can. And well, dang it, you deserve that. All right. Never give up. Never surrender because you're worth it. And remember, I believe in you. Bye, guys. <laughs>